Okay, here's how you make this spiral slide. First, I open the instructions and I create a new part. And you begin by creating a new sketch and it says, make a vertical line on the y-axis that's 24 inches tall. So, new part, new sketch, XY plane, line tool, a vertical line on the x-axis that's 24 inches tall. Okay, so there's the vertical line. The next one says, add a horizontal line to the origin. I skip this one. I don't like it. It's easier just to create two concentric circles, which are circles within one another, on the horizontal line. And dimension them while you do it. The outer circle is 24 inches, and the inner circle is 22 inches. So here's what it looks like. I come over here to the x-axis. I choose my circle tool. I go right on the axis. I draw a big circle that's 24 inches, and then I draw another one right inside of it that's 22 inches. The bottom half of the circle is all we're going to keep, and we're going to spiral it around this vertical line to make a spiral slide. So let's go back to the instructions. Next thing we do is click on the vertical line and click center line. Center line is up top here in your instructions. So we're going to click on the line and then click this center line tool. So first thing, zoom in here, try to click on the line, and then click on the center line tool. You'll know you do it correctly if it changes to this type of dotted line. So now we have our circles and our center of our slide. Back to the instructions. They say, click on the horizontal line. We're going to skip that too because we didn't draw a horizontal line yet. For the line, dimension the outer circle to the center line and make it 36 inches. So we click on dimension, we click on the outer circle to the center line that you just made and change it to 36 inches. And it kind of pulled it in. Next one, create a reference line through the center line and diameter of the circle. This is where I just draw a line. It's confusing instructions. Basically, it's saying draw a line across the two circles. So I get my line tool. I come down here. I make sure I'm on the outside circle. I draw a line all the way across. Click, and that's it. So I have a line going all the way across these two circles. Then it says trim the circle. Get rid of the top portion and the inside portion and the middle portion. So we just end up with this U-shaped figure. So trim tool, get rid of the top and the inside circle and the inside of the horizontal line. Now I have a closed U-shape figure right here, which is the scoop of our slide. Then it says finish the sketch select coil and we're going to spin it around that center line that we created so that looks like this finish sketch the coil tool is underneath sweep and it looks like a spring and it brings up a lot of options it automatically selected my scoop for me and then I choose the axis and I choose that center line and it's going to spin it around it we just got to change some of the settings. So the settings are select coil size under type, select revolution and height. It's going to spin around three times. That's your revolutions. And the height is 132 inches. Coil size, revolution and height, three revolutions, height of 132 inches. Right now, the slide goes up, but we want it to go down, so you can flip the axis under shape. And now it goes down. And then you click OK, and it's going to generate the slide. And there you go. You'll know you do it correctly if you can see down the center of it, and it looks like a donut. And it's not too thick around so that is your tunnel slide and now you would change the color of it 
to whatever you want it to. And you can also change the inside of the slide to a certain color. And you can change the outside of the slide to a different color. So there you go. That's it.